Hello and welcome. Welcome to Reimagine Life Phase 3. So today is the first day of uh, Phase 3. And initially, I started Reimagine Life as a 30-day series because uh, we can collectively give ourselves and the planet a boost. Uh, we are going through a lot of major transformation all over the world. Now, it's a transitional year. Uh, we started a couple of years ago. And over the next few years, we will notice a lot of uh, waves of uh, massive transformation coming in. Now, this year, we also had two major cycles or new cycles beginning. One is the new decade, which is, which is an energetic cycle. And the other one is a new feng shui cycle for the next 12 years. At the beginning of 2024, we will start a brand new 20 year feng shui cycle. So there are different types of cycles, yearly cycle, um, decade cycle, 12 year cycle, then uh, we have 20 year cycle. And overall, there is another 60 year cycle, which seems to keep repeating again and again. Our vision and our focus is while we have the opportunity we want to go up a level or maybe a few instead of going through another 60 year on the same level on the same cycle. Yeah. So as we are going through a lot of global transition, uh, we are also noticing that uh, different types of cosmic energies are coming to earth. You know, some uh, scientists are also detecting uh, stars and supernovas that are billions of years away, billions of light years away, their light is reaching us for the very first time. These are all information, energy. So as we go through and experience some of these cosmic waves, they initiate changes within us. Some are a part of the universal cycle that every certain number of years, something happened. You know, there are, in the solar system, there are cycles for a few hundred thousand years. Um, there are cycles for you know, 24,000 years and more. So those are too big for one lifespan. But in our lifespan, we are noticing a lot of the changes of some of these cycles. So our objective is to look at how we can align more with our higher vision, how we can align more with our next phase and how we can help each other and help the planet to collaborate more instead of going into conflict. We also see many groups, organizations and governments going into conflicts. When massive changes like these happen, you know, if some people, some groups, some organizations or governments, they're not ready then they go into conflict, attempting to hold on to the old cycle that's more comfortable as long as they can. Human beings resist change. We are probably the only ones that resist change the most. Change is a universal constant. Everything is changing. From moment to moment, your life is different. So our vision uh, for phase three is to uh, play and explore possibilities to give ourselves vibrational boost, align more with our higher level of consciousness, play with different techniques, and at the same time, help each other and give the entire planet a boost. So when we can hold a higher vibrational energy and when we can bring in higher vibrational cosmic information on the planet, and embody that energy, we can notice a lot of the old patterns and a lot of the existing challenges fading away. So that will serve all of us. We want to focus on eco-friendly and life-friendly technology and processes. We want to focus on healthy organic living. We want to focus on global collaboration. We want to focus on personal empowerment. We want to focus on opening up a stronger flow of love, 
joy, harmony, abundance, and collaboration for all of us and for the entire planet. So let's continue to play and you know, make sure to invite everybody you know who may be interested so we can touch more lives together. And from each location, we can energize the planet and we all become uh, antennas to broadcast high vibrational cosmic energies. So today, on day one of phase three, we will focus on the importance of using vortex energies to raise your vibration. A vortex is simply a spinning energy. Now we are familiar with certain types of vortex energies like hurricanes and tornadoes. Now we don't see them as beneficial cycles, but the natural ones without artificial influence are also helping the planet to decompose information. In uh, spiritual teachings, generally, a clockwise spinning vortex is seen as a creative and uplifting and empowering vortex. And a counterclockwise vortex is seen as a decomposing vortex. In nature, you find both. Yeah. Sometimes people think, Earth is rotating in a particular way. No, it's not. From if you're standing at the tip of the northern hemisphere, Earth and looking down, Earth is rotating counterclockwise. If you're standing at the tip of the southern hemisphere and looking down, Earth is rotating clockwise. So in space, there is only rotation. No, there is only spinning. There is no uh, direction, left, right, up, down, clockwise, counterclockwise. However, uh, when it comes to in relationship to where you are, generally it's seen that a clockwise one is moving forward vortex. It's like, you know, you're pushing off the ground like an airplane. Uh, you are forcing against the ground and you are shooting up. So, you are generating an intentional vortex with certain energy and information to give yourself a boost. If you take a glass of water and you take a spoon and begin to start it fast, then you will create a vortex. Now, if you haven't done it, uh, notice it consciously. That's a vortex. So when we are playing with vortex energies, we simply do that for our field and for our surrounding. You can create any kind of vortex energies. When you use some of the holographic tools like Restore Inner Abundance, Liquid Luck, Love is Power, Perfect Health and Fitness, Unlock Inner Joy, or Restore Inner Magic, they are creating vortex energies with you. Also, they infuse sacred geometry, sound vibration, and other types of codes and information for your field. So they interact with you directly. Consciously and intentionally, you can focus on an abundance vortex or a prosperity vortex by thinking about a golden spiraling energy. You can imagine a rose vortex for love and relationships. You can focus on an emerald green vortex for healing. You can focus on a starry blue vortex for enhancing your cosmic connection and aligning more with your soul vision. So when you are playing with different information, now you can keep that in mind and simply tune into the vortex energies. It's simply a high vibrational spinning energy that boosts your vibration and that help you to uh, be in a higher stage so that you can manifest what you desire faster. So today, let's focus on playing with some vortex energies. Gently close your eyes. Focus on your heart. And begin to breathe in and out.
Let's bring up spiraling earth energies from the center of earth and allow those energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Let's bring down the spiraling rays of the sun through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Allow the energies to spiral through you up and down. Notice your sensations. Let's tune into your heart and let's focus on your heart brain connection. Let's tune into a vortex of abundance. I will run the holographic program, Restore in our Abundance. Notice your sensations as a golden spiraling vortex flows through you. Allow the vortex energies to spiral through every cell of your body. Abundance is a flow of all things in harmony, not just money. When you focus on abundance, you're focusing on giving yourself a boost in every area.
Just think about your entire life. Allow the vortex of restore in our abundance to spiral through every day of your life, past, present, future. Let's also focus on expanding the energies and allow the entire planet to receive the energy waves from Restore in our abundance. Notice the golden vortex of Restore Inner Abundance holographic program getting stronger for you and the entire planet. Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times.
Let's come back to your present moment. Rub your hands together and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. As you go through your days, please continue to give yourself a vortex boost. Now get into the habit of doing that pretty much every day. Whenever you have an idea or a vision or you would like to accomplish something, run the appropriate tool. Use the vortex energy. Now as you begin to play with the vortex energies, your brain will get programmed that, okay, now I'm uh, focusing on a golden vortex and restoring our abundance. So I will get a boost of abundance and prosperity in all areas. Now I'm using a rose vortex. So I'll get a boost of uh, love and relationship energies in all areas. You know, now I'm using an emerald green vortex. So I will receive a boost of healing energies for every cell of my body. So, uh, you know, have these to become programs in your subconscious as you begin to use the vortex energies. And um, you just play and explore as you start creating the vortex energies intentionally, you, know, you will notice that they are getting stronger and they will become more visible for you. You may start to notice more, feel more, hear more, smell more. Now you will also open up your senses more as you play with these energies. So take care, have a magical rest of your day, and I will see you for our next journey.